Hello everyone, my name is Hotrebo and today I'm showing you guys how to install smooth driving to your GTA 5. So the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the smooth driving mod on the lcpdfr.com website or the lspdfr website, whatever you guys want to call it. If you guys don't know what this is and you've just clicked on from notifications or being subscribed, which if you are subscribed, thank you very much. And if you're not, please be sure to smash that subscription button because only 15% or 19% of you guys, I can't exactly remember, are subscribed. So... Please subscribe and join the rest of us under. See if we can get it up to maybe 30% by the end of the year. That would be absolutely incredible. So thank you guys very, very much for that. But if you come down to features, you can see here the features currently in this mod is smooth acceleration, deceleration, smooth and realistic steering with steering angle hold outside of a vehicle, which is really cool. So when you get outside of the vehicle, steering wheel and the wheels itself will actually stay in the position that you left them when you get out. So that will be really cool, especially when grabbing photos on your phone inside of the game and you can also have cruise control with auto follow improved automatic gearbox optional custom gear ratios compact and informative ui extensive configuration turn and hazard indicators with automatic cutoff which is so cool so make sure you guys do install this as it completely changes your experience on gta 5 a list right here is known ui bugs and known bugs in general so ui or ui my may oh my god UI may flicker, I do apologize for that, when FPS fluctuates a lot. So if you have, maybe you're driving through the city and things like that, the UI might do a little bit of a flicker because of your FPS dropping. And if you have menu installed, AI shifting will not work in certain spots, such as a spooky beach. And if you do find any other bugs, make sure you report them down in the comment section below inside of here, if you do find any. But first thing you guys are going to want to do is head over here and click down on this file. And then agree and download. Make sure installing the latest version available to you guys. Then once you guys have done that, if you click here, it will boost the download time a little bit more. And then basically you'll have a smooth driving V folder. And you'll also have a .dll folder. So to install this, the first thing you guys want to do is go to your GTA 5 main directory. So to find that, those of you guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory is down in the description below. But those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. So to get to that, what you guys are going to want to do is go to the drive where your Steam is installed. If you don't know where that is, if you go into your Steam and just check in your storage settings, it will show you where your Steam directory is. Go to Program Files 86, go to Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And then choose the GTA 5 folder that you want to mod. As always, you should always have two copies. If you don't, skip towards the first part of my LSPDFR tutorial video. Where I do show you guys how to make two copies if you're not sure. And you're a little bit unsure on how to do that. But what you guys are going to want to do is first of all, make sure you have a scripts folder. And if you don't have a scripts folder, make sure that you just make that. Basically, all you guys got to do is right click new and scripts. And as long as you have scriptvv and scriptvv.net installed, then you should be all good to go. But the first thing you guys want to do is simply just control and left click on both of these guys. That's the wrong button completely. Control and left click on both of these guys. And then you, what you're going to do is have both these selected and simply just drag and drop them into your scripts folder like so. For me, it's going to ask to replace them, but for you it won't since you already, since I already have them installed. But you guys won't. Just hit replace and it will drag and drop them over. And there you guys go. Just like that, you have now installed something that will completely over ramp, revamp your game. However you want to call it. To a new level it really does change the experience of gta 5 i can tell you guys that one and also if you guys are a little bit unsure of the key bindings we just double click and view this guide.pdf you can also change it to a text if it's easier for you to by deleting the pdf part and putting txt but if that does help make sure you guys do read that as that is all the key bindings for it but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it if you guys do want to support me a little bit further you can check out that blue join button down below it is a monthly subscription where you'll get early access to all my videos and you'll also get early access to exclusive content and there's a big video coming out very very soon if you also want to join my discord server make sure you click the link down below but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see all of you guys in the next tutorial or maybe lspfr video because there's one of those coming out very very soon I promise you guys. So thank you guys very, very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.